Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another perfume review. If you are new here to my channel, I do a whole bunch of different kinds of videos here, ranging from these perfume reviews to fitness related content. I have a whole series here on my channel about being a military significant other and I love to vlog. So if you guys would like to see more videos from me, I do post new videos three times a week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. But let's get right on in to today's review today i am going to be talking about moschino's gold fresh couture this perfume came out in 2017 and i just so as you guys can see this box is just super reflective gold yes you can see my fingerprints all over it no i'm not sorry and inside of this gold brick box i do have the 1.7 fluid ounce size of this eau de parfum let's just take a second for this perfume bottle how how hilarious is this? I love the Moschino fresh bottles and the fact that this one looks like it was dipped in gold. Just like, what? This is amazing. It is such a conversation starter. If people see this on your vanity, they'll be like, why do you have a gold Windex bottle? And you'll be like, oh, just you wait. It's a perfume bottle. One thing that I am sorely disappointed in about the fresh bottles they missed a golden opportunity here. Like, why is this not how the perfume comes out? Why do I have to take off the top? Golden opportunity. The top notes of Moschino's Gold Fresh Couture are grapefruit, mandarin orange, pear, white peach, mangoes, and rhubarb leaf. The middle notes are jasmine, lily of the valley, and orchid. And the base is composed of patchouli, akigala wood, sandalwood, vanilla, and musk. Now out of all of the little Windex bottle shaped perfumes, I had to get my hands on this one because of the rhubarb note. If you guys don't know, strawberry rhubarb pie is one of my favorite desserts on the planet. And now that I'm saying that out loud and I'm talking about perfumes, these perfume companies, they need to make a strawberry rhubarb pie perfume. If any of these perfume companies are watching me and would like to collab on such a fragrance, hit me up. Never gonna happen, but the idea, it's mine. And if you do it, I'll know, I'll know. When I first spray this fragrance, I am hit with this fruit basket of yummy, fresh picked grapefruits, peaches, and pears. Mostly the pears. Pretty much smell pear throughout the entire duration of wearing this fragrance. But after about five minutes, I do start to smell that juicy tropical mango and some of that rhubarb. The perfume isn't entirely fruity though, since it does have the middle notes that are all florals. I definitely smell the jasmine and the orchids throughout wear. And the base notes do come out about an hour into wear. The patchouli is a classic base note and that musk definitely envelops you a bit into the fragrance. I sadly don't really pick up on the vanilla or the sandalwood and I really do love both of those notes and I'm like genuinely disappointed that they don't play up on my skin. This perfume almost reminds me of some Escada fragrance. I don't remember which one and I don't remember if my grandma had it or maybe I had it when I was younger, but it reminds me of those like fruity tropical scents that I used to love when I was younger and have kind of grown out of, but definitely still appreciate. It is a fresh fragrance as you would expect from something shaped like a Windex cleaning bottle. And it also smells very clean. You will smell like you just stepped out of the shower all day long, like scrubbed yourself head to toe, or maybe kind of like a really good shampoo. Almost as if you got your hair done at the salon. Yeah, it kind of smells like that like salon shampoo and conditioner. You know how they always smell better than the shampoos and conditioners you have at home? Even if you buy the one at the salon, it just, something about it isn't the same as when you get your hair done at the salon and your hair never feels as good as when you leave the salon. That's kind of what this is reminding me of all of a sudden. Like you just got your head massaged with some of that delicious salon shampoo and conditioner. Or maybe even like you scrubbed your house from floor to ceiling. Just complete and total spring cleaning mode, spotless house, and now you kind of have a little bit of that residue of all the cleaning products you used. But like not in a bad way, not in like a soapy type of way or like bleach cleaning kind of way, like a good way, I promise. 
Like it's still a tropical kind of fragrance with all those juicy fruits. I would say that this fruity floral fragrance is perfectly suited for daytime wear in spring and summer. But like I always say, Perfume does not have a time of year or a time of day. Like if you want to smell like an island basket of fruits in the dead of winter, no one is stopping you. This perfume lasts about eight to 10 hours of wear on my skin. And I would say the sillage is about like arms distance. It's not like room filling, but it's definitely a strong one. The 1.7 fluid ounce size of Moschino's Gold Fresh Couture retails for $76 and the 3.4 ounce size is $96. If you guys are going to be interested in picking up this Moschino fragrance for yourselves, or maybe with the holidays coming up, or maybe someone's birthday is coming up and you want to get them a kind of funny gift like I feel like this one would be perfect to get for like your mom just is that just me being weird <laughs> but if you guys want to pick up this perfume for yourself or for someone that you know so if you guys are interested in picking this one up I will have a link to it in the description box down below I do make a small commission if you guys do use that link shopping through my link does not make this perfume any more expensive on your end it's just a way for you guys to show your support here for my channel and for my perfume reviews the more of you who shop through my link, the more perfumes that I can buy, the more reviews that I can give to you guys, and everybody wins. So in advance, thank you so much if you do choose to shop through my link. I really, truly do appreciate you. But I think that is just about all that I have to say today about Moschino's Gold Fresh Couture. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me. In the comment section down below, let me know which household chore is your least favorite to do. My least favorite is cleaning bathrooms. If I could never clean a bathroom again, I would never clean a bathroom again. I would love to keep up with you guys across all of my social media platforms. Links to them are always in the description box down below. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you totally should. I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.